Hi, I'm Andrew Daniel and today we're going to review this. This is a new Ricoh Vita Z or Z1 360 degree camera and we're going to review it using Matterport's 3D virtual tour software. Okay, firstly a little bit about the camera. As you can see it's really compact and really easy to carry um, but it is quite heavy, it's really well built and definitely does look a good bit of kit. Compared basically to Matterport's Pro 2 camera, which is sort of this size and £2,800-£3,000, we picked this one up for £850. So if you're looking to get into the world of virtual 3D tours for properties, real estates, holiday homes, this really is a good camera to do it with. Um, it has two lenses, it has a 1 inch sensor and uh, produces 23 megapixels roughly, so not as much image as the Matterport Pro cameras but definitely good enough for normal residential properties. Okay, it's really simple to use. It has a shutter button on the front, that's it, photograph taken, and it has four buttons down the side. We have an on-off button, we have a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity button, we have a mode button to change from photos to video, and lastly we have a function button. This camera is really good, you can actually get in and change the functions, you can change the f-stops from f.6 down to 2.1 and a lot of other settings you can change. Um, but for Matterport we're just literally going to leave it in the automatic mode for now. Uh, as I mentioned before you do have two lenses, you will need to be very careful when you put it down because you don't want to be scratching one of those lenses and I would definitely recommend that you pick up a uh, lens cover or a case to put this in. We'll put a description in the box below the one we've got and we'll also put a description and a link into where you can pick this camera up from. Uh, another great feature is it does have a LED display on the front which is very useful, it just displays whether it's connected to a camera, how many shots you've got left and the battery life. Um, battery life, and that's one of the negatives about this camera. Basically, has built in battery and built in memory storage. It has a 19 gigabyte storage, which is fine. Two and a half thousand photographs, 45 minutes of video. And again, for the virtual tours, we're only using photographs, and two and a half thousand is more, way more than you'll ever need. But the problem is, coming back to that battery, it's about 45 minutes to an hour. Just enough really to get a two-storey family home in, but if you want to get a few more unique shots, it takes a little bit longer if you've got the customer following you around, and it does take over that 45 minute hour period, then you're going to have to recharge this, which isn't great when you're in a customer's home. However, what you could do, you could get a battery charger, you can put it on the tripod, and you can leave it plugged in as you go around, and that might just give you the extra 30 minutes you need to complete the job. But that's sort of a minor negative, but definitely one to bear in mind. Okay, okay, we're going to now move on to do the virtual tour, but first of all, if you do like this, please hit the subscribe button and give us a like and that would be great. Okay, let's go and do our first property. Before we start, we're just going to enter the property details into the tablet and then we're ready to go. Okay, so now we're ready to do our first scan of the property. We've had a quick walk through this house and we've decided to start in this corner. Uh, we're going to do the kitchen diner, then into the living room, onto the front door with this little toilet and then we'll go up the stairs to the next level. So we've got our tripod and we've got our camera set up. We're going to start just about in the corner, not too close, but a little bit into the corner. Got our iPad set up and we're ready to capture our first scan. So we'll just get back out of the way a second and we'll start scanning. What I'm going to do, we're going to do this in real time. So you can see how long it takes. We're not going to skip forward to uh, speed the process up. We'll do four or five shots just to give you an idea of uh, the length. So that one's done. And transferred. Perfect. So now we're going to move the camera about five to six feet away from where it was before. That's your sort of optimal scanning level, five, five to six feet. So do that one there. I'm gonna pop back out of the way. Okay, so that's scanning now the second one. Okay, good, that's done. And that's now transferred. So this will be our third shot now from the kitchen. We'll just pop that one around there. That should give us a good view of the rest of the kitchen. So we're hiding away now. Okay, and that's scanning. The beauty of this as well is it's a 360 camera, so it's not like the Matterport cameras that actually spin around on the tripod and you have to wait for them to spin around. This is basically taking the picture of 360 at one time, so it's much quicker. Okay, three for this, ki this kitchen should be fine. We'll so now come through to do the doorway. In the doorway, we're looking about like a meter-ish away from the door. Again, I'll pop back out the way for this one, and we'll get that scan going. 
So that's going to go through. I know it's on my iPad now as well, you'll be able to see it filling in nicely. If there are any black areas we'll explain later, we'll have to go back and redo those, but that one is looking really good for us there. I think we've captured everything we need. So we now come on to the living room. So again, about a meter from the door, so then that will give the viewer a perfect view as they go through. Back out of the way, and we'll start that one. Okay, and that's going through. What we're going to do now, we'll stop here and we'll go to the stairs. Obviously, we'll carry on just to do the next couple of rooms uh, before we get there. Okay, so let's go to the stairs now. Right, dome stairs is now complete. We've done the kitchen diner, as you saw, and obviously you'd carry on yourself and do the living room. Do the same thing, just position the camera five feet away through the remaining space. So then we're coming to the stairs to go up to the next level. What we do first of all is place the camera at the bottom of the stairs in the centre. And we'll take our first scan from there. So I'll just move back out of the way, that one will go through. And then we'll go up the stairs. What we want to do is go about three stairs at a time. Okay, so that one's now gone through. So what you're going to imagine is yourself walking up the stairs. So where we are here now, we'll sort of take it up two or three stairs. Again, be, be very careful on the stairs because you don't want your camera falling down. So three stairs up. So as you'd imagine, we've got the bottom one, then we're sort of walking up and you get a sort of a, a good view of that. So we'll take one there a second. Okay, that's just going through. Perfect, and it's taken that one. And now we're going to go up another three. Or four, three, three or four, hasn't got to be exact. You can sort of judge as you're there. Okay, making that sure that's secure. Back out of the way, and I will scan through again for that one. Perfect. So that's basically our bottom level now. What we would do then, we try to start another floor, and we know we tend to start on the stairs, so then you get it aligned evenly. So our next scan now would be looking from the, the bottom floor up to the one above. So we'll probably take one around there. Again, that gives the camera, it can see down the stairs and also upstairs, so like I said before, we'll align, lovely. So we'll get it the way and we'll get that one done. Okay, so that will be our first photograph then on the new floor. And then basically we just carry on as we did before. Starting our first one. We like to do it at the top of the stairs. So we'll get that one there set up. We'll hide away to get that done. We'll let that one scan through. And there you go, you pretty just start off on your way again, same as before, meet it from the door and we work our way around the rest of the house. We're now going to go outside the property to get some external shots. So we need to change to 360 mode from 3D mode. If you see where the circle is on the screen, you push it there to change to this mode. Okay, so now we're in 360 degree mode. What we're going to do for an external shot, same as indoors, place the camera, go onto the app, Get out of the way, push the capture, and it will take a 360 degree shot of the area, back garden, front view, whatever you like, and then we'll add that to the plan at the end. That's all our work done with the camera now. We've taken all of our scans and all our 360 degree photographs. What we need to do now is mark any mirrors or windows on the property, and also we like to use the trim tool just to go around the edge to make sure that it's nice in the doll's house effect. We then click the upload button and send that off to Matterport. So now to add the 360 degree photographs to the plan. We need to go onto the Matterport software and go into edit mode for this. And if you notice down the right hand side, you'll see a box for 360 degree photographs. What you do is go down, select the one which is appropriate and you just drag it onto the floor plan to where you want it to be able to be accessed from. So as you can see on this one, we put it by the back door. So basically you would click on that icon and that will take you out into the back garden for the 360 degree view. Once we're happy with all of our changes, we send it off to Matterport, and although they say it takes up to 24 hours to come back, we normally find it's back within one or two hours. This is the final version that you will send to your customer. 
They'll get it via a link that they can put into their website and or else else they can send it out to their clients. It opens quite nicely with a view of the doll's house and then we'll go into the property at a point that you can pick. What I'm doing on this one, I'm just walking through the property. You may also notice some little blue or green tags. What that is, you can actually put a note to say what's behind a cupboard or what type of television it is or possibly who, what artist painted a picture. Any little detail you want to put, you can just add on via tag. If you notice on the door, the 360 degree button, that will then take us out to the 360 degree photographs that we've taken. And also you put one of those on for each photograph that you've taken front or back or wherever you like. Then you can click the person to come back in through and carry on through the house. Very self-explanatory. One of the features on Matterport that I really do like is the fact that they allow you to do a long or short introduction video. Basically you get the option to download these after you've uploaded the plan. It could be a really good selling point as it'll be a good introduction on your client's website. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe for further details of our training, tech and travel videos. Thank you.